Welcome back to Arizona Daily Mix. I am joined by Dr. Paul DePompo. He's a clinical psychologist with the Cognitive Behavioral Therapy Institute of Southern California. That's a mouthful. I know, it is. <laughs> it's always good to see you. So we are talking about Valentine's Day. Of course, everybody is these days yes. getting ready for Wednesday. And it's become so commercialized that a lot of people feel some anxiety about the day. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Lots of anxiety because social media is killing Valentine's Day. And I wanted to stop, but we have to figure out how to deal with it instead. You know, that's so true, especially for various stages of where you are in life. Let's yes. start with you're in a new relationship. Yes. How do you go about celebrating the day without being too anxiety ridden about the fact that maybe you're going overboard or maybe you're not doing enough? Well, for, first of all, if it's a new relationship, don't expect the other person to read your mind. Okay. You know, um, don't equate the value of the um, elaborateness of it to your worth because that doesn't make sense. But use it as a good opportunity to talk about what you like, like what's love to you, what are the, do you like, words, plans, actions. Get to know each other, you know. Um, also, don't use it as a test. Mm -hmm. You know, like not say anything, let's see what they do, oh. and then we'll see. It's yeah, so much pressure terrible. and stress. 51% of guys, for example, have so much anxiety about it, they wish the holiday would just go away, and the other 40-something uh, percent are waiting for their partner to, for permission to answer yeah, the question. Yeah, it gets very yeah. expensive. It does. Okay, it what does. about if you're in a long-term relationship and yes. you, know, you don't want it to feel like it's a chore, you still want to have some romanticism to it, right? Right. D two things there. One, people are confusing love and romance. Mm -hmm. Romance can burn out over time, but love... What is love? Love is, it's a lifelong piece of work, you know? So what happens when you're in a long-term relationship is, you know, work, kids, job, eventually that frame changes and you start looking at your partner like, who's this guy? You know what I mean? And it's like hard to get the romance back. So we still have time. So uh, a scientific thing to do here is to get five things from your partner that you used to do that was really meaningful ah. and switch lists. Okay. Start infusing this into everyday practice. That's a great idea. Because it takes that frame that gets all cloudy right. and really brightens it up. So you could really be working towards love and not have that pressure of that day. Now, realistically speaking, you gotta start early on Valentine's Day because social media is making everyone compare and contrast who's doing what, who got a foot scrub massage, who got so the biggest silly. dinner. So just start early, do something in the morning like a breakfast or a sweet text or a scandalous photo or whatever. Right. <laughs> and then just, and then just at least it's going to take pressure off your partner yes. when they go into work or school. Okay. So that they at least have an answer to yes. what did your significant other do for Valentine's Day? Yes. Okay. What if you are single? I know you asked me for any single uh, friends that I have, you know, yes, what yes. They, they call it Galentine's Day. Mm -hmm. You know, the girlfriends get together. But what do you do if you're single? And you know, there are a lot of single people out there that hate this day. Yes, I think it could be a good day for single people. First of all, um, what, what people usually do is it, they start ruminating on the darkness of their last relationships and so forth. But this, not to sound like Oprah, but what, <laughs> you should, but what we should do is really treat yourself that day the way that you would want a new partner to treat you. You get a massage and you get yes. a massage. Because it's going to <laughs> up you to the level of meeting someone that's more, you know, going to be respectful, a good partner to you. But celebrate love. Celebrate love with your family or friends. It's a good time to go to a meetup group right. for singles. Get that online profile tweaked uh -huh. and so forth. Make it a good day for you in setting new steps Okay. Forward. What about the workplace? Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to ignore that it's kind of a big day for a lot of people, right. but how do you handle right. it in the workplace? If, if everything's going well in your relationship, of course you don't want to, you want to be careful and not blow it up too much. But um, a lot of people are afraid now of being the subject of some sort of Me Too situation at work if mm -hmm. they say Happy Valentine's Day to someone or whatever. It's a very sensitive time. It is, but, but I think on some level it, it'd be healthy if the culture at work is good enough to buy some little, um, for example, I think I have one here. Yeah, buy some little Valentine's. kitty Valentine's cards that are neutral mm -hmm. and make sure you give it out to everyone if you just want to infuse a little bit of positiveness. And this one's for you, by the way. Oh, thank yes. you. Thank you very much. Always, oh, he even signed it. I of love course. it. Thank you. Now, let me do a quick tip. Did you feel harassed at all? By this? Yes. No. All right, there we go. See? But that's because you're a regular. Oh. <laughs>
but it will work. As in the Pat work said, you're almost on the payroll. That's funny, <laughs> but it is a, it is a positive thing to do at the workplace, and you'll see a really nice reaction I well, think you'll thanks. get from your colleagues. Yes, very sweet. I appreciate it. Good to see you. As you. always, if you want more information, cbtiofsocal.com. It's correct. a mouthful. It's on aztv.com. When we come back, Dr. Hot Flash talks about hormones and libido. Stay right there. <laughs>